Deforestation is a very serious problem facing our planet today. The World Wildlife Fund estimates that 12 to 15 million hectares of forest are lost each year, the equivalent of 36 football fields per minute. The removal of forests has led to many issues that need to be taken very seriously. A few of these big problems that come from deforestation are global climate change, animal extinction, and soil erosion. The practices being done regarding forest removal are not sustainable and are dangerous to the well-being of the planet. Something needs to be done about it before it's too late. There are some ideas for potential solutions to deforestation, but everyone needs to get on board and learn about why this issue is so important. The World Wildlife Fund describes deforestation as when trees and forests are cut down either by logging or by burning. Trees are cut down for a few different reasons. According to National Geographic, forests are mostly cut down for agriculture, to create room for to raise livestock, and for logging purposes. In some cases, fires, overgrazing, and climate change can cause deforestation. Trees are a very important resource, not only for humans, but also for the environment. Trees are vital when it comes to absorbing CO2 and other gases that contribute to global warming. According to the Nature Conservancy, deforestation is the second leading contributor of carbon emissions worldwide, after the burning of fossil fuels. Many people might not know how much cutting down trees actually pollutes the atmosphere. Another reason why forests are useful for the environment is because trees capture and cycle moisture, and so without trees the soil is more likely to dry out and become uninhabitable by plant life. According to the World Wildlife Fund, forests are important for people because certain populations still live within them and rely on them to provide animals to hunt and plants to gather, shelter, and other resources such as medicine. Forests are disappearing at a staggering rate. National Geographic reported that rainforests used to cover 14% of Earth's land, but today they only cover around 6%. This means that over one half of Earth's rainforests have been demolished because of people's need for wood and land. Cutting the amount of forests in half also cuts the amount of animal habitats in half. Many animals rely on the forest for shelter and food, and when it is destroyed, they are left homeless. According to the World Wildlife Fund, habitat loss is the biggest problem facing animals to this day. It is the leading reason that animals are being threatened or facing extinction. If animals were able to stay in their habitat, the amount of threatened or endangered animals would surely go down. Another reason that animals are being threatened is because of climate change. Leaving forests alone and planting new ones will surely lower CO2 levels and help to clean up the atmosphere. Another problem that arises because of deforestation is the issue of soil erosion and degradation. The removal of trees has a direct effect on the quality of the soil in an area. Here is a quote from the World Wildlife Fund that explains how deforestation leads to soil erosion. Without trees to anchor fertile soil, erosion can occur and sweep the land into rivers. The agricultural plants that often replace the trees cannot hold on to the soil. Many of these plants, such as coffee, cotton, palm oil, soybean, and wheat, can actually exacerbate soil erosion. Scientists have estimated that a third of the world's arable land has been lost through soil erosion and other types of degradation since 1960. And as fertile soil washes away, agricultural producers move on, clearing more forests and continuing the cycle of soil loss. This all means that the crops used for agriculture cannot thrive in the soil that used to be in forests, and so more and more forests need to be cleared as a result. The degradation of soil is going to be a problem for people because it will mean less usable soil for agriculture and less food for people to eat. Already, growing enough food to keep up with the growing population is a global issue. Deforestation is only adding to this problem. These problems are only a few of the main concerns that come from the removal of forests. Issues such as soil erosion, loss of habitat for animals, the displacement of people, increased carbon emissions, and global climate change are only going to get worse as deforestation continues. Forests have a very widespread influence over many components of natural life, the atmosphere, and the everyday lives of humans. This is why people should be fighting to protect them instead of tearing them down. The Nature Conservancy stresses the importance of the world's forests regarding answers to helping stop global climate change. 
They encourage the world's governments to create incentives to encourage preserving and restoring forests. Whatever the solution or solutions may be, one thing is clear. Current rates of destruction cannot continue. Something needs to change so that this planet's forests aren't lost forever. While there are already a large number of serious environmental problems because of the amount of forests that have been cut down, it is only going to get worse. National Geographic describes how severe this issue is when they explain that the world's rainforest could be completely lost in 100 years if the current rate of deforestation is not stopped. This is a staggering prediction that indicates a very bleak future. If all of the world's forests were destroyed, the repercussions would be very grave. The World Wildlife Fund estimates that about one half of the world's forests have already been cut down or otherwise removed, and to this day they are still being destroyed at a rate that is ten times higher than any level of regrowth that is possible. People are cutting down trees all around the globe, and more new trees need to be planted to compensate for the lost resources, or logging practices need to be addressed and changed. There are a lot of things that can be done to help reduce deforestation and some of these are more plausible than others. The fact that deforestation is the second highest producer of, car of carbon emissions probably is little known. The public needs to be educated on what is happening and why it is a problem. Deforestation is not a lone issue. It goes hand in hand with climate change, animal endangerment, and many other large issues. Serious action needs to be taken along with education of the general public. One step in the right direction would be by using and developing more alternatives to wood. These wood alternatives could be used in buildings and other places where lumber is currently being used. National Geographic offers some more ways to reduce deforestation of the rainforest. One way to save millions of acres of rainforest every year would be from sustainable logging. Sustainable logging is supposed to act like nature does. Trees naturally fall down on their own and are taken down by storms and fires. Instead of cutting down all the trees in an area, with sustainable logging, the trees would be selectively cut down. Another solution to reduce rates of deforestation would be an educational campaign to teach people about deforestation and then to encourage supporting sustainable rainforest products. Consumers have a lot of power. If they chose to support products that are friendly for forests, then the demand to cut trees down would decrease. Additionally, governments could stop roads and buildings from being built in places where rainforests would have to be torn down. This would also be beneficial because when roads are built through forests, it can disrupt the animals in that ecosystem. All of these solutions offered by National Geographic would help to save acres upon acres of forest cover. These solutions are very doable and would have wide-reaching benefits to people, plants, animals, and the environment. The Nature Conservancy points out that there is no price put on the value of carbon that trees store. There needs to be more incentives to keep forest intact. If people are going to make saving forests a priority, it needs to make more financial sense to keep forests than it does to cut them down. The Nature Conservancy urges these incentive plans to happen quickly. Soon, countries that are currently developing will add more greenhouse gases to the atmosphere than all of the industrialized countries put together. This will be because of the carbon emissions that come from deforestation. These developing countries will be cutting down trees for land and lumber because they will be undergoing rapid expansion. The Nature Conservancy announces that protecting forests is essential to reducing global emissions and halting climate change. This is why they take actions to try to incentivize keeping forests intact. In conclusion, deforestation is not going to stop on its own until the forests that are left are completely destroyed. Imagine a world without trees and without the animals that rely on them. People need to take action and save the precious forests that are left before it's too late. Awareness needs to be raised so that everyone can realize what is going on and do something to fix it. People need to vote with their dollar and government needs to get involved. Losing all of the world's forests would cause a catastrophe. It would expedite global climate change and eliminate many resources such as lumber and usable soil and animal habitats would be lost. There is no question that something needs to be done as soon as possible. Sustainable practices need to be put in place, and everyone needs to realize the value of what is being rapidly destroyed.